welcome dear all in our youtube channel alexis project and myself professor moinshik and today we will share a new hardware setup our title name is a uh, software st starter for ac motor you can see the title here and here is the setup so let's see each and every components one by one so here you can see it's a main switch and it is used to turn on and off the entire system uh, this is uh, jack is uh, to provide a 5 volt power supply to this uh, this is around you can see uh, we are using, uh, we are providing here uh, to 30 volt okay you can see here's a plug okay for to provide to provide to 30 volt for the motor operation as this motor required to 30 volt power supply you can see here uh, this section is specially designed for students so students can write their group name members name uh, one by one using the pen or any sketch okay and here's the project name and here a student can write their guide name using the sketch any pen or any pencil here's a delay adjustment knob okay using this uh, delay adjustment knob you can rotate it and we can adjust the uh, delay we required while starting okay and uh, next component is a uh, ESP3 ESP8266 uh, uh, module it is the brain of the system okay and uh, it is possible to handle the entire operation like uh, running LCD and handling the data coming and all going all is responsible Okay, it is also removable as you can see. Okay, it's a ASP8266 module. So let's put it again. Okay. Next component is a LCD. We are using 16 cross 2 LCD here, and LCD will display us so what is the delay time. Okay, on the screen and uh, below, it will display the power or current power according to the motor 100% or 0% or 50% or 30%. You can understand. And it is also removable as you can see for study purpose or maintenance purpose you can understand okay we can easily replace it this knob is used to control the screen contrast okay using this knob we can adjust its lcd contrast as per required uh, next component is uh, here's a power track okay and uh, using this track we will uh, adjust the power of the motor okay providing to the motor okay the next is the optocoupler here okay as you know uh, the, this uh, track and motor runs on to 30 volt and uh, this all system runs on 5 volt so isolate this systems we need to use this optocoupler to provide the uh, safety of the system, this 5 volt system. And next is uh, buttons here, okay, and the, and the, after a uh, motor has turned on 100%, okay, on the screen, after the specified delay, uh, we can use these buttons to control the speed of ISPA requirements, okay, using these buttons, we can control the speed of motor. Next is, uh, you can see it, it is a output for the motor outlet, as you can see, motor needs to connect to 230 volt for the operation, so you can see. We can also move from here and uh, it is connected here to 30 volt power supply. One uh, sewing machine motor here to 30 volt power supply. And you can see its specification here. We will use this adapter for a power supply purpose. So we have done all the arrangements for the testing purpose. So you can see you have a power adapter is connected here. 5 volt power adapter to the system using this connector. And this to 30 volt power supply is connected to this, and uh, you can see all the buttons are on. Okay, and you can see main switch is turned off. So now we will uh, turn on the system so you can see motor is off. Okay, and let's uh, turn on using this main switch. So the screen will show the name project name. See software starter for SC motor, and after that, you can see delay time is 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, motor will turn on slowly, slowly. See, let's put in engineering. Okay. So actually motor is so noises, I am going to turn off using this button. Okay, these buttons are used to control the speed motor after turning on. After 100% turning on, 100% remember. So you can see it is showing current motor speed is. Okay, 0% power means that's why motor is off. Okay. So you can see power is 0%, that's why motor is off. And delay time is 10 seconds, means uh, motor will require total 10 seconds to turn on the motor slowly slowly from 1% to 100% remember delay time is 10 seconds so motor will take how much time uh, uh, you can say 10 second motor will take to turn on the uh, whenever we will power, to supply the power okay so let's uh, again we will uh, turn off the system okay by using this button and we will again see how motor will start slowly slowly and it will take 10 seconds so you can see 10 seconds so let's uh, turn off the project okay and again we are going to turn on to see the motor performance again motor we must uh, require 10 seconds to turn on and motor should not directly turn on as this is a software shutter remember so i'm going to turn on 
సేమ్ మోటార్ స్టార్టర్ వేసింది నా మోటార్ ఇస్ టర్నింగ్ ఆన్ చేయించి స్పీడ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫ్లోరింగ్ ఫ్లోరింగ్ మిస్ అంద మోటార్ వైట్ మోటార్ జీరో హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఇన్ టెన్ సెకండ్ మోటార్ టుక్ టెన్ అండ్ టెన్ ఫర్ టెన్ సెకండ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ టు టర్న్ ఆన్ ఇస్ ఎంటి ఓకే సో వ్యాన్ వన్ టు టర్న్ ఆఫ్ ద మోటార్ ఇన్ ద బేస్ బటన్ ఇట్స్ అ పర్ బటన్ సో ఐ హ్యావ్ టర్న్ ఆఫ్ బట్ ద మోటార్ ఇన్ దిస్ స్పీడ్ కంట్రోల్ బటన్ ఓకే రిమెంబర్ దిస్ ఓన్లీ వర్క్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ టర్నింగ్ ఆన్ ద మోటార్ ఓకే నా వి విల్ సెట్ న్యూ టైమ్ ఫర్ మోటార్ స్టార్టింగ్ సో యూ కెన్ సీ I am going to rotate in this knob and we are reducing the motor starting time. Okay, this is not a starting time you can say but it is a time which is uh, which is uh, defines that the motor will uh, reach from 0 to 100 percent in 5 seconds. Okay, because this is a software starter. So let's uh, t- I'm go- I'm going to turn off the motor. Okay, the system consider motor is turned off and someone is going to turn on the motor. So uh, now it will take 5 seconds to turn on. from 0 to 100% so you can see okay then 5 second motor it turned on you can see and after turning on when you hit this button so you can control the motor speed you can see this button okay because this is a flush button okay and after 100% motor goes to 0% okay and now we will press this button to increase the motor speed okay 2% power but the power is so less so that motor it, it cannot run to the motor okay so now again i am going to increase the power by this button this is the plus button this is the minus button so 4% but still 4% power is not sufficient to run the motor but power is available again we are going to press the button 6% okay you can see 6% is sufficient to run the motor you can see motor is running again we will press this button okay you can see see now it's pretty say 8% that's how motor is running quickly okay 8% of power okay let's uh, again press the button okay and listen the motor voice this is 10% of power it is providing now okay after turning on we also facilitate that we can control the motor of uh, speed uh, speed of the motor in these buttons again i am going to press it to so listen the motor voice Again, I am going to press. Again, I am going to press. The motor is running so fast. I think the power is 16%. I am again uh, going to... Uh, I am making it 30%. I am going to listen to the motor voice. Okay. Motor is running so fast. I am going to make it 50%. 60%. the motor is running so fast as it is vibrating i am amir and giriraj and jaspreet this is 100% okay and if you again increase from 100% to so it will jump to 0% see okay okay this is again motor is turned off because power is 0% okay it means our project is working so fine and uh, using this knob we can adjust the uh, motor starting time okay you can auto select one second okay so in this time motor will turn on so quickly okay i am going to set this time for 5 uh, seconds so you can see it any any time you require from 1 second to 10 second okay maximum 10 second is available and, and minimum is 5% sorry for uh, minimum is 1 second available okay power is 0% that's why motor is off okay so you can see our system is working so fine thank you so much for watching so i'm going to turn off the systems okay back sets content of the model so i have removed the power supply and here is system and you can see here is our project okay wiring of the system Okay so thank you so much now we will see you in next video take care